How's everyone doing out there? Um, probably like me, here in the middle of election week. Uh, everyone's feeling a little anxious. I know I am. Crazy times to be alive and an American right now. Uh, anyhow, uh, right now I am in Capitol Reef National Park and I got a call from a friend the other day who is down by Zion and he mentioned that there's a big storm getting ready to hit in Zion. So what that means is we should have um, some yellow leaves down on the river. Meanwhile, all the, the desert peaks behind should be covered in snow and there should be rain and fog and mist and all that good stuff. So lots of really good photography potential to be had this week. Um, but right now I'm in Capitol Reef because I couldn't quite make the drive all the way down there in one shot. It's a little bit of a long drive. Um, and we had some nice light there for a minute and I had just started setting up my kit. I was going for a long lens. Um, and and then all of a sudden this giant dark cloud i shouldn't say all of a sudden but this big old cloud came in and kind of shut off the light for us for a little bit yeah so stick around and uh, let's see what happens i think uh, i think it could be interesting we're gonna see some wildlife we're gonna see some snow we're gonna see some basically some amazing desert scenery so uh, here we go Uh, yeah, it was actually kind of a challenging photo day. Uh, drove from Capitol Reef all the way to Zion, which is, you know, it's a little bit of a haul. Beautiful drive, it was a gorgeous day. The wind was howling up top, it was unbelievable. Uh, cruised around the park all day on the east side. I'm on the east side of Zion here, and yeah, it was, it was awesome. Like, I'm just kind of scouting it out, looking for shots. I always forget how hard it is to shoot in Zion. Uh, the road is pretty busy. It's just a, a narrow little windy road with just a couple of little pull-offs. There's very little, or very sorry, few places to park. Um, so it's challenging in that regard. And then, you know, finding compositions here is also uh, pretty challenging. We are supposed to get some snow, which is why I came down in the first place. So hopefully tomorrow with the snow, I can hike around a bit and find some cool compositions and uh, yeah, just have some fun in the snow in the desert. Anyhow, that's all I got. See what happens. <clears throat> all right, well, when I'm at home, I absolutely love to cook. Uh, it's one of my favorite things in the world, actually. And I'm a pretty good cook. I can actually whip together a pretty decent meal, but when I'm out, on the road uh, on a photo mission, uh, I really don't want to cook all that much. Um, usually I'm out all day and I'm out photographing and I'm concentrating on that. And when I get home, it's just like, or when I get back to my camp, I'm just hungry and I want to eat and I want to eat something good. So I discovered these things. This is just like bachelor food, basically. It's called Home Chef, I think. And they're, they're a little bit expensive, but really they're, they're probably less expensive than like a dehydrated dinner that I'll use for backpacking. I don't know, maybe six bucks or seven bucks, but it's awesome because it's real food. Um, they have all sorts of different ones that I, you know, I pick them up at City Market or I'm sure Safeway has them too, or wherever it is that you shop probably has them, but they're really good. I just throw them in my cooler if I can open it. And then I get something super delicious like fettuccine, chicken fettuccine Alfredo. And all I have to do to cook it is this. Done. Now I just heat it up and I'm good to go. I have an awesome little meal. So I raced up the down the road 
And uh, like I said, there's no like real specific shots that I wanted to get on the east side of Zion here. It's just kind of all beautiful. So really just picked a turnout and just did a little super short hike. And, uh, and the clouds are just starting to light up a little bit. And there's even just coming a little bit down the road, there's way less snow here. Um, there is some snow, as you can see, kind of further out um, and right even here. But, uh, but nothing like even at camp. There was quite a bit more at camp. So anyhow, I'm going to get back to shooting and uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully I find some compositions here. So it's a beautiful afternoon in Zion. Uh, light snow, looks amazing out here. And uh, yeah, I found some bighorns, just like I was hoping for. Um, now I know that across the way, yesterday I saw a much bigger uh, ram over there and I haven't seen him today. I've got the binoculars out and I'm gonna keep looking for him. Um, but uh, yeah, for the next few minutes, I'm gonna shoot this guy photograph this guy because uh, yeah he's looking good over there. So as far as my setup here, what I have going on, um, like I said, I do have the 150-600, which is nice because it gives me plenty of good working distance between myself and the animals, nowhere near them. Um, and I'm shooting in raw, of course. I'm shooting in, what do they call it? Um, the autofocus is called tracking flexible spot small. So I'm using a very small spot on the uh, sensor for autofocus or the autofocus point I should say is really small so it zones in on the animal and it's also in the tracking mode which means um, one if I was close enough I'm not going to get it here but it will track the eye which is really cool but it will also will follow the animal around as they move through the scene or if I want to recompose my shot if I focus on one of my bighorn sheep and then I can actually move and refocus but that focus point will stay right on the sheep so it's super helpful for uh, for wildlife photography um, I'm shooting at let's see what do we have here ISO 2000 I am at f 6.3 at 1 640th of a second so those are my settings I'm using it's pretty dark it's pretty overcast that's why I'm using um, uh, such a high ISO and it's working great so I'm going to keep on shooting. Well, I said I wanted snow in the desert and uh, I got it big time. It is hammering out here take a look around tents getting buried the road is getting buried so uh, I think I'm gonna have to make a decision here if it keeps up like this uh, it's gonna be hard to get out I'm not far from a paved road but there is a bit of dirt road I'm gonna have to get out and navigate here it's not very far but if it's not a foot it would be challenging to get out even in a four-wheel drive truck so uh, I think what I'm gonna do is kind of just pack up this stuff pack up the tent and uh, just move, it's not, like I said, not very far, just a couple hundred yards, but, um, but I'll be on a paved road and uh, just in case it keeps on dumping like this. <laughs> Pretty crazy. <laughs> Hammering. All right. Shooting for 
vertical. Got some good leading lines here. Now I'm kind of focused in on my tree, finally kind of getting the shot that I was looking for. It's about that little snag that's hanging off the red rock there. Okay, so found a little something I'm kind of excited about. A nice shot here. So that shot that I was just showing you there, I shot it with both the 1424 and also the 2470. It, it was better with a polarizer. So as you can see, I kind of put my polarizer on here um, and I've been shooting it in vertical. These would be my last few shots of the trip. It was a spectacular couple of days exploring the desert in the snow. And while I didn't squarely hit the photographic mark that I had set for myself, I did learn quite a bit about how to photograph Zion and how I will do it differently on my next visit. Thanks again for watching and please like, comment, and subscribe. See you out there.